What's up, folks? Hey, I guess who it is? This is me. Uh, it's your hair. Oh, let me turn the light on a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, it's me. Oh, you know, my teeth really aren't that yellow. <laughs> I don't know why it's the uh, lighting in here. Anyways, hello. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I am actually coming on because uh, I just got to talk about somebody, dude. I mean, all these riots are really just killing me, guys. Um, it's horrible news. You know, most of the time I like to keep what I do upbeat, but you know, I kind of want to talk about this whole George Floyd thing and all the riots that are going on and everything that's happening basically in democratic states. Yeah, democratic states. Way to go, Democrats. You don't see that shit happening in Texas, do you? you no, know, you know why? Because all the cowboys will start rallying up all the crooks. So it's not gonna happen here in Texas, y'all. I'm not in Texas, <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, Texas in general. So anyways. So let's talk about this whole rioting. Um, do y'all know that uh, five African-Americans have died so far in the rioting? Does anybody talk about that? Does anybody talk about the people who have lost their lives because they are defending or they are protecting uh, the communities and they're black? I thought all black lives matter. Let's keep it real, folks. You, everybody says all black lives matter. So. Why isn't the news talking about these fight, these five black people who have died recently because of the violence that are happening because of the George Floyd incident? Why isn't anybody talking about that stuff? Let's go ahead and talk about them because I'm not talking about them because here between, in, the, in between the spectrum, we keep it real, okay? So number one, let's talk about this person. Yeah, him, Dave. Patrick Underwood. Guess what he was doing during the riots? He was actually just trying to protect people uh, because the riots were getting out of hand. This 59-year-old man never did anything wrong in his life. And guess what? He was killed in the riots. Nobody's talking about him, are they? What about this person here? Yeah, you know what his name is? He was a cop. His name is David Dorn. This guy, you know what he was doing during the riots? He was actually protecting a pawn shop that was being looted by a bunch of thugs. Yeah, thugs. I said it. Thugs. Thugs. Anyways, he was being he was protecting the, the pawn shop, and guess what happened to him? He got shot. Yeah, and he's black, and he's a police officer. And he was one of the good guys, apparently. Because, you know, all the black people, all the black, or all the cops in general are just horrible. We know that that's not true, because I know Commissioner Gordon very well. He's not, a, he's a good guy. He really is. So... David Dorn, he gave his life protecting somebody. And guess what happened? He got shot. Yeah, and guess what? That's not the bad part. He was actually, his footage of him being shot was actually aired on Facebook. Can you believe that shit? Nobody's talking about him, are they? All right, what about this person? What a shame. Italia Kelly. This young lady, she was actually in a protest. She wasn't in a riot. She was actually doing a protest. Which is fine. Protesting and rioting are, are two different things. Protest, you can have protest because you know what? That's freedom of speech. When you riot and be and, and, and start being thugs, that's when there's issues. But this young lady, what she was doing, she was basically doing protests. And as and when they started to turn violent, she was trying to leave. And what happened? She got she got hit by a stray bullet and died instantly. This young lady had lots to give, and she was like, you know what? This shit's getting real. Let's get out of here. And she got shot. Uh, on accident, but nobody's talking about this young lady, and that's a shame. And what about this person? Yeah, what about him, Chris Beatty? This dude, what he was, he guess what he was doing? Yeah, this guy, he was just being a, a normal citizen. He was actually trying to get some thugs off of two women that were trying to steal their purses that are riding the entire city. And when he saw that these two thugs were trying to steal women's purses, he told him, "Hey." There has to be a better way. You know, come on, guys. And guess what happened to him? He got shot. Trying to protect somebody. Okay, he's black too. I thought all black lives matter. Seriously, nobody's talking about any of these happening except for old George Floyd. Now, let's keep it real about George Floyd. Yes, he was a man. He was a black man. He actually died by in the hands of a cop. Should he have been let up to get air because he couldn't breathe? Yes. Was George L Lloyd the the um model citizen no guess what george floyd was doing 
when he, like, guess what he, guess what his past is? This dude served five years in prison. Uh, and it's not just for, you know, selling trinkets on the street. He was into drugs. He was into robberies. And he was on, he was actually caught with counterfeit cash at the time of his death. So, I, I, I understand. There's going to be two type of people that actually watch this. One are going to be like, you know what? This guy is right. You know, all lives matter. And the other be, the other type of people that could be watching this could be like, you know what? This guy is just anti-black. No, I'm not anti-black. Uh, but you know what? This whole Black Lives Matter thing is a bunch of horse patooki. All lives matter. Guess why? That's the reason why I never used guns. I only used boomerangs and things that made noises, <laughs> loud noises. A pop, pop, boom, boom. Because ja, ja, it scared the criminals and I didn't have to kill them. But let's get back to the serious nature of this thing, folks. Five people have died in the riots and they've all been black and nobody's just said anything. Let me repeat that one more time so y'all can hear. Five people have died in the riots that are black at the hands of other blacks and nobody's saying a damn thing about it. But yeah, we're all worried about George Floyd, who is a common criminal, who was basically Joker's side, side henchman. Nobody's saying anything about that though. It's all about George Floyd. Hey, this guy got died. He, this guy got, this guy died. But you know what? Nobody's talking about the cop that died. He was black that was trying to defend a pawn shop. Nobody talked about the young lady who was trying to get out of a bad situation and he got caught by a stray bullet that was probably shot by thugs. Nobody's talking about the guy who was trying to protect the two women who were being robbed at gunpoint. He got shot. Nobody's talking about any of these people. They're only talking about George Floyd, which is a bunch, bunch of shit. I, I'm sorry. I don't like to cuss and I don't like to use guns, but it's a bunch of shit. So my main point out of this one, this stopped the violence, guys. This stopped the rioting. You know, Antifa is, is probably the biggest, they're probably, Antifa needs to go down, you know, and I'm not the person to do it because I'm retired, but, you know, Antifa is a bunch of thugs too. That's all they're doing is they're just blade raiding shit. You know, you see so many things, so many people walking out, you know, with, with stereos and, and car car alarms and, and, and uh, groceries and Nikes and none of that stuff's going to, none of that stuff has anything to do with black lives or any type of lives. So, in a nutshell, George Floyd was a common criminal. Should he have died the way he died? No. Should the cop have let him up when he said, I can't breathe? Yes, that's on the cop. But George Floyd was not the best guy in the world, okay? And then we got five other people who were trying to be natural, good citizens, and they all died. And nobody is talking about these five other black people people because remember black lives are supposed to matter but they forgot about these guys <laughs> for some strange reason these guys don't matter just drop it all lives matter folks all lives uh, georgia's lives matter I italia's lives matter my lives matter the guy who works at 7-eleven his lives matter you know old timmy down the street his lives matter it, it, you know president trump his lives matter joe biden his lives matter you know, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, green, yellow, blue, purple. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. All lives matter. Let me give you a little statistic really, really quickly. Do you know that most black people die at the hands of other black people? You look it up. It's on the Internet, and that's true. Most black people have died at the other hands of black people, but nobody says anything about that. In this instance, it's just because a white person who was a cop was trying to do his job and kill a black guy. That's the only reason why they're doing this, folks. It's it's a bunch of horseshit. This guy's life matters. Right here. Take a look at this guy. <laughs> he's a dog. And he's black. And his life matters, too. But nobody's talking about him. That's a profile pic. And this guy's still alive, though. And I'm not trying to say anything bad or anything. But his life matters, too. So... Let's drop the shit. Let's actually let's actually do a new a new slogan that say all lives matter. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, gray, or green. All lives matter. So let's wake up America. Let's get real. And uh uh, uh, uh <coughs> <coughs> until next time, let's keep it real, folks, and stop the violence. You know where to hit me up at if you need anything. Uh, laters. <laughs>